we now come to the last part of our syllabus which is exchange rate and balance of payments we will first talk about exchange rate the broader concept is foreign exchange what is foreign exchange i hope in class 12 you must be at least familiar with this word foreign exchange you must have heard about dollars pounds and many other currencies in the world each country has its own currency india's currency is known as rupee to be more exact it is called indian rupee so indian rupee for india is domestic currency meaning it is acceptable in exchange of goods and services within india but dollars pounds yuan yen or any other currency may not be acceptable in india so all other currencies other than indian rupee for india they are called foreign currencies and in popular terms it is called foreign exchange so what is the meaning of foreign exchange foreign exchange simply means all currencies other than domestic currency so for india all currencies other than rupee are foreign exchange what is foreign exchange rate it is just like price of any other commodity suppose you want to go to usa at present usa london thailand singapore these are the favored destinations for the tourists will you be able to buy goods and services for rupees in usa or in london no you have to purchase dollars or pounds as the case may be the rate at which you purchase dollars from the market from the banks it is called foreign exchange rate at present foreign exchange rate of a us dollar is around 65 rupees so if you want 100 dollars you have to shell out 6500 rupees <coughs> to get those 100 dollars so for what is foreign exchange rate then the rate at which one unit of foreign currency can be purchased in the foreign exchange market how is this rate determined i just said if you want 1 dollar you have to pay 65 rupees 
but who decides that you have to pay 65 rupees broadly there are two types of exchange rates in the world broadly otherwise there are three two types of exchange rate in the world one is called <coughs> fixed exchange rate other is called flexible exchange rate it is also called floating exchange rate now what is the difference between the two fixed exchange rate is fixed for a very long period who fixes it who decides it government of the country or the central bank of the country for example in china exchange rate is fixed by the chinese government yuan YWAN is the currency of China and the rate at which one yuan can be obtained is fixed by the Chinese government. This is why we call it fixed exchange rate. It is not fixed forever. If government wants it can change it but government does not change it frequently. Government changes it only when they are forced by the circumstances to do it. So they may do it once in many years, not even in days. That is, so what is fixed exchange rate? Exchange rate fixed by the government or the central bank of the country. Then the flexible exchange rate, as the name suggests, is flexible, changeable, elastic. In what manner? You must be, if you hear the news, at the end of the news, they normally quote the price of Indian, uh, the price of foreign exchange. One dollar is sold for 65 rupees, 40 paise. Dollar has become weaker by 40 paise, but dollar has become stronger by 40 paise like that or a rupee has become stronger or rupee has become weaker this you always daily so these these rates change almost daily and those who indulge in buying and selling frequently it may change every minute it may change every hour why does it change it is it, it changes because it is not decided by the government it is decided by the market for foreign exchange just like you buy vegetables from the market you buy clothes from the market you can also buy foreign exchange from the market so just like there is a vegetable market there is a cloth market there is a foreign exchange market where you can buy and sell foreign exchange dollars pounds etc now market changes every minute if there is a rush for demand for dollars the price of dollar may rise if there is slack demand for dollars the price may fall So the price of dollar or price of pound in Indian rupees is determined by the demand and supply of dollars, demand and supply of pounds in the market. Such a rate is called 
flexible exchange rate. It is called flexible because it changes frequently. It is also called floating. Floating, you know, tairta hua. So, it may come this way, then it may go this way, then it may go this way, like that. It is also called floating exchange rate. Then there is another version of floating exchange rate. It is called managed floating. exchange rate. Why it is called managed? It is basically floating, basically flexible, basically determined by the market. Why it is called managed? Here you can take the meaning of managed as influenced. Who influences the market? For any good, bazaar mein bhao kam zyada kyun hote hain? Ya to demand badhti hai, ya supply kam hoti hai, ya supply badhti hai, demand kam hoti hai. To ye rates change hote rehte hain. Similar is the case with foreign exchange market. Now, if mark, suppose the rate is too high and central bank thinks this, this is too high a rate and it must be brought down. They just cannot dictate the market. Kya aap kam kar do? No, they can't do it. So, what can central bank do in this case? They have a lot of reserves of foreign currency with them. Central bank enters into the market, starts selling foreign exchange, supply of foreign exchange increases in the market, and the foreign exchange rate comes down. If they want to raise a bit, they can start buying from the market. So, managed means intervention by the central bank of the country to minimize fluctuations in the exchange rate. But why should the central bank do it? <coughs> they do it in the interests of the importers and exporters. If the rate is too high, it is harmful for the importers, 